Martin. Glad that you're with us here today. Glad to be able to talk to, uh, to Greg Varner, who is on the line with us this morning. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Greg, how are you? Well, I'm doing very well. Good morning, Indiana. Hello from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Um, I, doing very well out here, yes. Yeah, but you're not going to be in Columbus on Sunday. You're going to be right back here in Indiana for... Uh, I'm actually, yes, looking forward to being back in in, uh, in Pennsylvania, really, for the first time since the school year started um, for some Thanksgiving, but also really looking forward to the Thanksgiving Concert of Praise this Sunday at Grace Church. Yeah, well, the Thanksgiving Concert of Praise, a longtime tradition, started, of course, by your dad and the Christian mm-hmm. Witness Program, uh, and uh, it is back at Grace Church, which is where it has been for most of the years. We've also been at uh, St. Bernard of Clairvaux and at uh, Greystone, I think, a couple of times. Uh, but Grace Church is uh, certainly a place that, that we're quite familiar with. And for many, many years, I recall just getting to that segment near the end of the concert and saying, here he is, J.D. Varner, for his five minutes uh, uh, and we made a big joke out of it, but uh, the the concert, the concert of praise, was really important to your dad, wasn't it? Well, I mean, he has always been a man who celebrates events. You know, he he likes to create places where people can get together, and he likes that tradition. You know, with our family, you know, it's always been about the the family vacation. It's always been about you know getting together for the holidays, um, and with the community of believers, it's the same thing. We are a family, so let's create those traditions that. We can predictably enjoy quality time with each other. So you decided to bring the concert back this year, and everybody is so pleased about that. What are some of the big highlights that we'll look forward to? Well, in in bringing the concert back, there was a lot of conversation with the ministry team from the Christian Witness trying to decide, is this feasible? Can we make this work? And, of course, Grace Church stepped up very generously and, and helped to answer the biggest questions about where we can be and how we can make this work. Um, my dad and I are different in, in, in some aspects, and, and my focus when people say, how do we want to carry this forward, um, is that we do what he always has been saying as far as this is not about J.D. Varner, and it's not about even the Christian witness itself. It's about that calling to let our light shine. So so the service is, is, is reshaped just a little bit so that it begins with the voices of the congregation in praise and worship. And it ends with what we're calling the Congregational Choir, as all of us together sing the anthem Until Then, which is, you know, uh, uh, that Gaither um, Mm -hmm. uh, icon, (laughs) I don't don't know what word to say, that Gaither song that has been the place of, um, from which my dad took the, the, the closing lines from his Christian Witness program, Until Then. Yeah, and uh, and in between that time, we're going to hear a lot of music from a lot of folks, uh, and uh, and maybe some voices we we haven't enjoyed for a while. Well, Todd, it's it's just you're, those of you who are listening now, you're going to get to hear school announcements as well as this. I'm, nice. sorry, I'm in a place that's a little bit awkward. Um, I uh, would say that I was overwhelmed to recognize that we quickly had over a hundred. Um, musicians that volunteered to be part of the program this year. (laughs) That's amazing. That's amazing. Which, which makes people think, Oh no, it's a 12 hour concert, but no, you've, you've managed to 10 hours. uh, 10 hours. Well, actually I'm I'm sensitive to the time frame. I do production, you know, in my high school, um, I'm in charge of a lot of the productions here. And so I do need to be mindful of that time frame. Um, It's looking like we're at about a hundred minutes. Um, but we've also said, look, it's a comfortable, casual place. So if, if you're at the dining table with your family and you need to step up from it and come and come back, you just do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're going to put together a, a nice evening of, of worship. And uh, you alluded to the, the five-minute um, teaching that my dad always did. And, and uh, we're very pleased that filling in that spot this year will be his oldest grandson, John Carl Richardson, um, who is just has an amazing voice for Christ. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a wonderful, um, not only is it a traditional uh, for the Thanksgiving concert of praise, but it becomes a legacy then, doesn't it? Well, it really does. And, and you know, and, and again, it is that place of, you know, this year, the question was, do we do this? How does this continue? And, and it is that place, each of us, you know, picking up whatever part we can do 
to continue this, you know. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens when we have some new people stepping in. I'm excited to see what happens when we reprise much of what we've been doing for years so that across the board, again, what does continue is that tradition of believers getting together to celebrate and underscore just the significance of what it means to know Jesus. The blend of music has always been one of the great features of the Concert of Praise, the fact that uh, there are so many different musical styles, and, and your dad down through the years emphasized that it's very important to to recognize that there are different ways to worship and there are different uh, musical styles as well that uh, all celebrate Jesus, and, uh, and we're going to hear that, a bit of that on Sunday as well. Mm-hmm. Well, one of the things I'm, I'm ex- kind of excited about is I was working with Deborah Moore from Grace Church to, to put together sort of the um, collection of, of artists for the evening. And one of the things that she shared with me is that sort of a dying um, a dying art is the art of the, the church choir. You know, many churches no longer have choirs or they're, they're, they're now small ensembles. And so I'm pleased that over the course of the evening, we have a number of choirs from local churches, as well as the Sweet Adelines. Um, you know, returning to be part of this. So, so again, even as we gather as community, many of the vocal groups are also community, um, which complementing that idea of coming together and bringing who we are to the conversation. For many, many years, the Concert of Praise uh, featured uh, uh, not only uh, the music uh, of, of choirs, uh, but um, uh, I recall some, some great highlights. Uh, I remember one time at St. Bernard of Clairvaux when Kim Dick and Rochelle Calvetti and I can't recall who else uh, was part of a uh, a trio that did a, just a beautiful version of Rock of Ages. And uh, that highlights the fact that uh, there are so many people who have been part of this ministry down through the years. Uh, the Christian yeah. Witness has been around since 1966, after all, and, and uh, there are probably very few lives, uh, certainly within the Christian community in this neighborhood, who have not been impacted and been a part of the Christian Witness. Well, that, I mean, that is true. Uh, and as a matter of fact, ironically, um, both Kim and Rochelle send their regrets. Uh, we, we spoke with them. They wanted to be part of things, um, but we're not able to, to make that happen this year. But, but you're right. You know, you, everybody has some contact to the outreach of the Christian witness, um, which is why this is such a nice opportunity for us to, to be together. You know, visually, you look and go, okay, everybody here has a story that somehow connects to this ministry that, that, as you said, started in 1966. And, and I believe the first concert of praise was about 30 years ago, too. So, you know, this is, this is not a new venture by any means. No, absolutely not. And it's been just a big part of the ministry for so many years. Unable to hold it last year, but it is back this year at Grace Church. The venue itself and the, the acoustical uh, wonderments of Grace Church are very impressive as well. They, they just make such a great sound, especially... Uh, when, as you said, uh, we have corporate uh, congregational singing, uh, it really is a special moment. It will, it will be. Uh, and, and, and the nice thing, too, is you know, there's been such, such great volunteerism that we're actually going to start prelude music about half an hour before the service begins. We're going to have the organ for a while. Then we're going to have the Grace Church Orchestra for a while. So, you know, it's a nice evening to, to arrive early, sit and have some quiet conversation with those who are gathering um, you know, and then just in, enjoy the concert as it begins at six o'clock. Uh, everybody's going to be looking forward to that. Greg, uh, I, I know that for you and for your family, uh, this is a wonderful moment to celebrate your dad and, uh, but most importantly to celebrate Jesus and, and the role that, uh, uh, your dad played in, in this community, spiritual life for, for so many years. This is going to be quite the occasion on Sunday night. Well, and Todd, I would I want to say that those those two things together. When I can't think of a better way to celebrate my dad than to celebrate Jesus, than to lift the name of Jesus higher, than to than to continue to serve him. And so so both things work together, you know. And, and again, I, I say that to the community, you know, those who who have um, been so supportive since my dad died in May. Um, the best way to honor that legacy and that memory is to you know sort of take up your cross and continue. The, the ministry as we go forward. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to it so very much. So the prelude music going to begin when? At about 5.30? About 5.30. Uh, 5.45, we'll start with uh, the new orchestra will step in, and then at 6 o'clock, we'll begin with the time of uh, uh, corporate praise and worship, um, and then just roll on until we, we 
head over to the Welcome Center for refreshments afterwards. It's a beautiful night coming this Sunday to Grace Church in Indiana, the Christian Witness 2023 Thanksgiving Concert of Praise. Greg Varner, thanks so much for the visit. Todd, thank you so much, and uh, have a good day, Indiana, Pennsylvania. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. 9.56, it is four minutes away from 10 o'clock.